What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the show. So I have some really good news to share with you guys today, especially if you're on social security, you're retired, you're on a fixed income, and you need low cost prescription medication. So I've talked a lot about this on the channel, the prescription drug reform, they're trying to to get this through Congress. Uh, they tried to put it in Build Back Better. We'll have to see if Build Back Better even gets passed. But this is a good story. So Mark Cuban, he launched a website yesterday and that website has discounted uh, prescription medication. So we're gonna take, first we're gonna take a look at a clip and he's gonna talk a little bit about it. Then we're gonna go over to the website and we're gonna take a look at it. And this is really, really good news. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Well, first off on this channel, we talk about financial news and I keep you updated when it comes to social security, retirement, and what's going on with these stimulus packages. If that sounds like something interesting to you, please subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell notification. That way you'll get notified anytime we put out a video. And like always, if you see my name and a picture of me in the comment section, make sure you see a check mark next to my name. That check mark signifies that it's me. If you do not see that check mark, it's not me. It's someone trying to impersonate me. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at Mark Cuban. He's gonna explain this website to us. Here we go. So the cost of prescription drugs in the U.S. can often leave families choosing between medications and a meal. But a new online pharmacy, CostPlusDrugs.com, promises to offer life-saving prescriptions at a fraction of the retail price. And one of the people behind the big idea is entrepreneur and owner of the Dallas Mavericks, Mark Cuban, and he's joining us right now. Mark, thank you so much for joining us. You know, I think a lot of people don't kind of know how it might work in other countries, that in countries like the UK, like Canada, France, France the government comes in and negotiates the price, right. right? There's a government body that does that. That may make a capitalist like you, Mark, shudder a little bit. <laughs> and I know that one of the things that you wanted to prove is that capitalism can be compassionate here. So I want you to talk to us about uh, costplusdrugs.com, why you wanted to get involved, and how you're able to do this. How are you able to make these drugs so cheap? Well, about three, four years ago, my current partner, Alice, um, Dr. Alex Oshmyski, um, reached out to me, and he ran a, a, a pharmacy in Denver, and he wanted to know if I had any interest getting into the business. And I really didn't want to get into the pharmacy business, but I asked him a question. This is when a lot of this stuff was going on with Martin Screlly, um, just jacking up the price of Daraprim. Mm -hmm. And what I said was, could we go out and find the manufacturer of Daraprim and just buy out uh, a year's worth of supply and just give it away? Um, because it's just crazy what's going on with him jacking up prices like that. As it turns out, we, we reached out to the manufacturer and somebody had already bought it. And as it turns out, you can't even just give away drugs to people. You have to sell them. So we discussed putting together a pharmacy specifically for generic drugs where we go out and we buy them from the same manufacturers that others are buying from, but really keep our costs low and just sell it at a 15 percent markup. And from that, costplusdrugs.com was, was born. So what's really fascinating, Mark, is you don't process insurance claims. How does that work? Well, I mean, we're trying to keep the price as low as possible. And as, as anybody who's had to deal with the claim or bought a medication knows that there's, there's a lot of induced anxiety dealing with insurance. And there's a lot of overhead and administration dealing with insurance. And there's between your deductible and your co-pays, we felt like there was a chance that we can get the price down so low that it would still be cheaper to pay directly than it was, would be to pay your copay or deal with your deductible. And I think we need to almost give people an example of the kind of cost difference we're talking about. And you guys sort of have a, examples on, on your website, but it, we're talking about a drug for leukemia that normally is $9,600 a month, all the way down to $47 a month. So it's it really is sort of a life-saving change for many people. But Mark, I, I wanna, yeah. go ahead. I was gonna say, people should really check their own pricing. You know, with that drug, that's the retail price, and most people will pay less than retail. So really go to costplusdrugs.com um, and put in the drugs, the generic drugs that you have prescriptions for and do your own price comparison. I'm really confident that our price will be lower than anywhere that you're buying it from right now. So Mark, let me ask you about something else. You know, we've been talking almost nonstop over the past few weeks about inflation. People can't get the things that they need or when they find it, it's too expensive. I wanna ask you about how you feel the Biden administration is tackling inflation and the economy. Yeah, I don't want to get into the politics of it all. Look, as, as a guy who invests in hundreds of businesses and sees a lot of things across the whole spectrum of company sizes, 
There are so many different factors that go into inflation. It's almost impossible for any administration anywhere in the world to, to have a, a specific impact on inflation. Now, you can talk about the Federal Reserve and question what they're doing or support what they're doing. But the reality is, you know, there are supply chain issues. I mean, some of my smallest shark tank companies, they can't get products in or they're having to pay expedite fees to get them um, shipped into the country. There's there's just so many factors that go into inflation. But the good news is, I think a lot of these things will clear up. Um, I'm not saying inflation is going to go away. I just think, you know, we, we reached a point where we had our 7%. I don't think it's going to be 7% on, compounded on top of 7% on top of 7% going forward. I think those numbers in the future will drop down significantly. Uh, Mark, before we let you go, I know you said you don't want to talk politics, but I got to ask you, I think I ask you every time I see you, uh, <laughs> have you ever considered a possible run for office, political office, that is? Have I ever? Yes. Will I? No. <laughs> so I'm focused. I think I can have more of an impact. Look, there are there's 20 there's billions, hundreds of billions of dollars spent on drugs. And right now with cost, costplusdrugs.com, you know, just getting the price of those down to where people can afford them and you don't have to stress about being able to afford your medications or, or having to cut back on on some of your doses and not take that you know and and make them last longer i think i can have a greater impact and and just seeing the orders that we're seeing coming in already and the response we're getting people crying people you know excited people saying you know this changes their lives i think i can have more of an impact with this than i could in politics I think you're going to make a lot of people's lives uh, much easier. Mark Cuban, thanks as always, my friend. Thanks for coming on. All right. There's Mark Cuban talking about this cost plus drugs. Now, I want to go over to their, their uh, website. So this is the website here. Now, I'm not being sponsored by them or anything like that. I just think this is a great opportunity uh, for, for everyone, especially people who are, are struggling right now. Uh, so th what, what, they're, what they're doing is they're, you're, they're not going through the insurance, but they're still the cost of this could still be less than if you went through your insurance and had to pay the deductible. So that's the good news. Uh, so in here's here's just some examples of some of the uh, medication that they have here with retail price. Um, lisinopril, uh, this is very common for high blood pressure and $3.60 retail price, $24. So you can really save money uh, if, you, if you look into this uh, so I, I highly encourage you guys. It's costplusdrugs.com. Go over to their website. This is the process. So you're going to have to find your medication. Then you're going to have to uh, have your doctor send the prescription, and then they'll go ahead and fill it and send it out to you. Uh, so this is this is good. And this is that example that they gave uh, forty seven dollars and forty cents compared to nine thousand six hundred fifty seven dollars and forty cents. Now this is this is a a situation here but this is not going to be for everyone as far as you're not going to save that much money um but this is just one example uh shipping is five dollars this is i mean th this is all around good now there are other uh, websites that are out there but um this is just the newest and i i think they have something really really good uh, going here and i hope that that this is something that can help millions of Americans. And you saw the reporter try to pull uh, Mark Cuban into the whole political discussion, and he he stayed away from that, which I think is is the right thing to do. You, you, you reporters always want to do that. They want to pit sides, right? You want to have uh, one side against the other and all that. But he didn't buy into that, and he's just talking about what he has here for the American people. And it really shouldn't be about uh, Democrats or Republicans. It, it shouldn't be about that. It should be about helping the American people. And that's what it should always be about. However, we're now in this polarized, divisive uh, type of situation where everything is about politics. But this is a situation where I think it can help a lot of people. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. But I want to know what you guys think about this. So let me know down below. Let me know if you've gone to the site. Let, let me know if your prescription uh, medication is there. Let me know if you've actually gone through this whole process and had something shipped to you, or at least it won't be shipped yet because they just launched it yesterday. But let me know if you're going to go through that process. I'd like to share that with other people uh, that watch the channel. And uh, that's all I have for you guys. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe for more. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.